All right, what is happening, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time to check out the Blade Boy recap of the Avengers right here, right now. The title is called "When the Avengers Destroyed New York City to Stop Loki." So it's gonna be later this time. So Hot Squad, let's get straight into it. So Loki pulls up to the party, spawning in a fit, and it got everybody running. Dang, I didn't think it was that bad. The police are coming after Loki, but he got them reevaluating their life's decisions, becoming cops. His <laughs> voice is upside down, and they gotta go back home to their wives, asking them why is Domino's <laughs> hey, big faces. Loki starts telling everybody to kneel before him, but nobody's listening. I've never seen a god with less street cred than him. Hmm. He'd be saying all his credentials just to be disregarded and dropped off anyways. He gets frustrated and screams dumb loud to get them to finally listen to him and kneel down. I guess my boy is having a power trip because he's around mere mortals because back on Asgard he's a walking KD booster. <laughs> I am Loki, god of deception, trickery, and mischief, <laughs> son of Odin, part frost giant, prince of Asgard. Boy, I know your ass out of breath. Loki <laughs> thought changing into his party city fit would have struck fear in all the hearts of the attendees, but Unk is standing on business. Unk so Loki, being the reasonable man he is, decides the only appropriate response is to kill this man. But Captain America comes out of nowhere to save the day. Hey. And I want y'all to really hear me out, because Captain America is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, mm -hmm. right? So it really hurts my heart to see him in this horrendous suit. <laughs> Captain America 1 suit, tough. Age of yep. Ultron suit, hard. Yep. Winter Soldier, fire. Yep. And my personal favorite, the Civil War Oop. suit. Yeah, so I say, yeah. Hell yeah. So how'd they miss so bad what in this that? movie? This looked like the parody <laughs> suit the soldiers had him wear in the first Avengers so they could clown him. <laughs> he set him up. Captain America just came out the ice. He handed it to him awesome. Yeah, bro. This what's hip nowadays. Trust. I can't let you hurt my friend Gerald, Loki. <laughs> he used to beat up black people together back in the good old days. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Soldier, a man out of his time. Do you even know the exclusive album? Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Snap. This is when Black Widow pulls up, and luckily she didn't bring her big bag of two attacks, karate and pistols. Big saw <laughs> Thanos pulling up with the Infinity Stones and thought Taekwondo might be the answer. Yes. She pulled up with that chopper instead. Loki tries to catch her off guard, but he misses. And mm. now due to an attack chopper, a god, and Captain America, this whole function has been ruined. The party promoter came outside looking like... <laughs> Who the fuck let all these niggas in my <laughs> Captain America hits Loki with the shield and then a right. Loki starts looking at him like he just dirtied his G Fazos. Getting yeah. blocked, hitting the shield away, and then knocking Damn. Captain America to the floor. Steve knows that Black Widow's up there looking, so he starts acting mad different, hitting them with a light-skinned stare. This is the same <laughs> man that was hitting on his dead girlfriend's niece. He yep. has no shame. Throws yep. his shield, but he loses it as he gets knocked away. <laughs> this is the right. We Weave again, gut punch, but gets smacked away. This right here is a prime example of how without that OPI shield, hmm. the super soldier would have been a super fry cook instead. Hmm. Loki walks up to Cap and puts his staff right to his dome, but he does the villain cliche right before they're about to cross the finish line, deciding now is the time everyone needs to know their whole life story. <laughs> but Cap ain't trying to hear this monologue. Black <laughs> Widow's unable to get a shot on Loki because they down there moving way too much as Loki throws his ass to the floor again. And this is where we get one of the best entrances in MCU history. It is awesome. Oh god. <laughs> Iron Man comes through, blasting yep. Loki and hits yep. his superhero landing. But I can't lie, I kind of feel bad because when Iron Man blasted him, bro fell right onto his back. Ooh. Peter knows exactly how that feels. Yeah. This would have been my last day as Spider-Man, oh. I swear to God. Iron Man ups it on Loki for him that. to make his drip disappear and surrender. It's over. This man Loki could make anything appear in thin air except for a W. He <laughs> is trash. You know I had it, right? Yeah, it's all from all the <laughs> <laughs> so the Avengers put the cuffs on Loki and they sent him to prison on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s helicarrier. Where, of course, he manages to escape in the most Looney Tunes way possible. Damn. Loki's still in here with some, <laughs> stabbing Agent Coulson in yep. the chest, making sure yep. he never secures 30 Killed him, man. Like, that pissed me off. So at this point, the Avengers are all demotivated and depressed. So in order to get them to work together, Nick Fury whips out a deck of cards and tells them that this was in Agent Coulson's jacket when hmm. Loki murdered him. The bro was capping. Those cards were in Agent Coulson's life. Locker. Hmm. He took them out, put Kool-Aid powder on it, and got to gaslighting like, hey. Guess he never did get you to sign them. Hmm. 
So the Avengers suit up and go out into New York City to conduct as much property damage as possible in the name of saving people. <laughs> but while they were having a pity party, Loki managed to open up a portal letting his whole Shatari army through. Shatari goes to camp out at Stark Tower and it's his brother Thor who finds him first. The dynamic of these two is so toxic. Their relationship gets explained a lot more in Thor 2, so all of the seven people who saw that film, y'all know. Loki, <laughs> you're acting like a badass little kid. You're 40. On Asgard, I'm about to fade you up, brother. And I cooked Captain America for his look, so I have to do the same to you, Thor. The glow up was crazy. <laughs> a beard and yeah. a haircut is really like makeup for men. Loki jumps at Thor, blocking him there, and Thor goes for a duck. But oh, who was Loki swinging on here? What was yeah, that video? Thor then deflects Loki's blast. The weapons collide, knocking the R and K off Stark Tower. Mm. Listen, I'm from New York City. I've survived master splinters around every <laughs> corner, being a Knicks fan and crackheads. So yes. the possibility of dying to falling R Kelly initials is sick. R, R Kelly wheezes and smashes his head into the glass, <laughs> while Clint and Natasha are up top watching the fight, just like, damn. Thor getting cooked. Hmm. They decide to turn around the jet to help, but as the cameraman pans back, we see Loki got Thor in a noogie. He throws hmm. Thor away, and Hawkeye clearly signed his max contract with the <laughs> Stormtroopers. He misses every shot as Loki Damn. just snipes them out the air. The jet starts spiraling out of control, and the funny part is Captain America is in the back seat. They got my boy back there shaking like a bag of Skittles. Damn. Without a wing, they of course go crashing down, naturally hitting as many buildings in the process as possible, landing in some nice, soft concrete. Luckily, the Avengers are okay, thank God, because hmm. that would have only left Hulk, Thor, and Iron Man to defeat Loki <laughs> and his entire army. It would have been over for us. <laughs> the least intimidating supervillain of all time would have won. I'm <laughs> sorry, I just can't take him serious. He'd be on top of the tower looking down at all of us, his prisoners on some here ye, here ye. Thor <laughs> tackles Loki and starts beating the daylights out of him. The shockwave from each punch is so OD that the cameraman can't even sit still. <laughs> Seriously, yo. Thor being the good brother that he is, he of course doesn't want to actually kill Loki. Loki, stop this madness. You can't destroy New York City. Try a chopped cheese, it'll change your mind. <laughs> Wait, you dead ass? Chop cheese really like that for real? Loki starts putting together an Oscar worthy performance, making Thor think he's had a change of heart. Stabbing Thor right in the gut with a thumbtack, looking at his big bro like. How many times, times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Old man? <laughs> Loki catches him with this I've changed, I wanna be a good guy now, fake out at least once a week. Thor <laughs> kicks him into the glass, picks him up, and slams him. Loki knows he's about to get spanked, so he just makes a business decision to skedaddle out of there on one of the Shatari scooters to go terrorize the rest of the city. So while Loki's on the loose causing straight mayhem, Captain America, Blackwood, and Hawkeye hop out their jet that crashed into this oh yeah we not seen tomorrow as scenery. At this point I don't even know what's left to say, <laughs> rocks and dust? So while everyone in New York City is running for their lives, the Avengers look up to see that the portal is moving like a thought, opening <laughs> the wider to let the rest of the Shatari army through. And I can't be the only one who noticed this, bro. Remember in Transformers Dark of the Moon, the Decepticon carrier? Oh, yeah. That shit looks exactly it do. like the Shatari carrier do. in this movie. And they function the it, it same sure way. Do. All I'm saying is the Avengers came out a year You're after there, yep. Transformers yep. Dark of the sure Moon. Sure did. He copied my whole fucking flow. <laughs> word for word, shit. bar for bar. So the Avengers... Well, immediately the Avengers are better moving than Dark of the Moon. And I love Dark of the Moon are doing an elite job of just spectating while the Shatari army is being unleashed causing straight havoc. They're Damn. terrorizing the city murdering millions while the Avengers watch and then we see Loki coming through blowing up every and anything. But mm. the thing is, isn't his plan to rule this place? At this rate, what is there going to be left to rule? Rubble? He moving <laughs> exactly like the androids in DBZ. They murdered everybody and just went around blowing up shit for fun. <laughs> we pan back over to the Avengers and they're camping <laughs> while New York City is one fallen building away from being what Wally predicted. <laughs> Damn, Loki's walling. Who should we call it? Nigga, we're the Avengers. <laughs> and it's Clint, of all people, who starts putting in pain first. So, they devise a plan to split up. So, while Black Widow is giving Cap cover fire, Cap jumps off onto the bus, running away from missiles being shot right at his heels <laughs> into a front flip and manages to stick the landing perfectly. 
While Steve <laughs> is auditioning for Ninja Warrior, Black Widow continues to shoot randomly at nothing, and Hawkeye <laughs> continues to be the one to carry the Avengers, helping these people escape from off the bus. And look at little bro Scott right here. He got a mohawk. That's how you know this shit was really filmed in 2012. Hawkeye <laughs> okay, then puts little bro down and goes over to help Natasha. Man, we could dead use somebody with like time powers or something hmm. to help us just go back and prevent all of this. Yeah, okay, good luck finding that. While they're holding off the Shatari army, we see Captain America turning on the jets to catch up to the police to get over there and give them orders, but they not trying to hear none of it. I can't blame them. A random man just jumped on my car in a Halloween costume and it's June. I saw this <laughs> June. Kids 30 on 42nd Street save them. They was kind of hitting that hoe. In Macy's west of 34th Street, I counted at least nine bad bitches in there. Yeah. And there's crackheads trying to sneak on the four train. Even in a fucking apocalypse, no free rides. But like I said, none of the cops know who this is, so they just looking at Cap like, Who are you? <laughs> why should we take orders from you? So Cap turns around and is like, alright, let me show y'all real quick why you should. Smacks one away, blocks two attacks, right hook, and then turns back around to then smack this Shatari into a block and cuts Bro's arm off, Damn. bopping him away. Look at the stance he's holding too, refusing to make eye contact. You know he feeling himself crazy after that. The thing is though, it worked. Hmm. Hey, y'all heard the man, kids getting sturdy, bad bitches in Macy's, and make sure y'all stop those crackers. Kids getting sturdy. So we've now seen what Thor, Steve, Natasha, and Clint have been doing, but Iron Man and Hulk are still a mystery. Hmm. Well, until now, because we see Tony turn the corner, facing the Shatari ship head on, shooting missiles at it, but none of them have any effect. All that caused was for the ship to turn around and start chasing him. Bro saw what was coming towards him and said, oh nah, I'm out of here. I thought Iron Man was about to put in pain, but nah. It's okay though, because Hawkeye continues to get to work. <laughs> Tripping the Shatari and a stab to the chest as Black Widow mounts one and turns his brain into pudding while Clint gets tackled. Mm. But hold on, bruh. Rewind the tape. Did y'all see that tackling form? Bro was <laughs> working for the wrong Raiders. <laughs> Natasha starts using their weapons against them. Look at the clean spin move into a shot as Hawkeye kills the linebacker <laughs> that tackled his ass to the ground. Damn. But their teammates are evil because how you gonna leave the two C-tier Avengers to deal with this whole army by themselves? They're getting overwhelmed. That is until the big dogs pull up to strip these bench warmers of their screen time. Cap comes in knocking two of them out, fuck off, gut check, as Thor comes in taking care of the remaining three, showing these scrubs how it's really done. If there's one thing Cap and Thor know how to do, it's how to make an entrance yep. for sure. Yep. But as you can see from the way Thor is getting up like he got arthritis, that stab from Loki is clearly having an effect on him. <laughs> Dog, you straight? Yeah, I just got stabbed by this giant sword. <laughs> that sword. Cap. Damn, for real? Yeah, you wouldn't have survived it. That nigga capping. So Steve starts to lay out the game plan, and that's when Bruce finally decides to show up to help out, and in the most badass way, too. <laughs> my fault, guys. Looks like y'all need my green friend. You know, I need that big guy. Bruce, I'm always angry. Like, Bruce, don't do it. She <laughs> said a whole MCU. As they're discussing how Black Widow has been passed around like a Harlem Globetrotters oh, basketball, geez. Tony turns the corner with the Shatari ship hot on his heels. Mm. That ship is really big as hell and making some very tight turns. Whoever is driving that is really whipping that hole <laughs> to give Dom Toretto a run for his money. <laughs> Bruce starts walking up on the ship and Cap is like, we don't need your weak ass, get angry. I'm always <laughs> angry. Turning into the Hulk and punching the Shatari ship. Love that moment, man. But y'all gotta remember, this is before Bruce became the Unincredible Hulk. So that punch <laughs> Uncredible. caused the entire <laughs> ship to flip over, causing Iron Man to have to shoot at it with missiles so it doesn't crush his teammates. There's <laughs> a reason Thanos fat ass had to get up and do it himself. The Avengers were really on timing. <laughs> The Shatari are everywhere, all on the walls. This one taking off his mask and, hey, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Yo, please, put that hell. shit back on. This <laughs> right. is this hell. This is when it happens. The moment that had 10-year-old me and you in the theater geeking. Yep. The cameraman yeah, the, the spin, yep. Four, six of that formation, man. Yes. Some ass. But Loki saw this and you know what he did. He got to hate it. Right. Look at his face. He's disgusted. <laughs> Went as far as to even call in more Shatari backup to ruin this moment. The Avengers were already tired and they just got the difficulty upped on them. God, hmm. please stop giving us your toughest battles. Yeah. I just wanted to point out how Tony deferred to the GOAT, Steve Rogers. He knows who the big dog hmm. is. Hawkeye, I need you on top of those buildings providing cover fire. You miss any shots, you're weak ass off the squad. We're yes. including Wolverine. Tony, hmm. you got the perimeter. Don't let them get out of Manhattan. If they get in that water, the toxic chemicals might give them a mutation and that makes our <laughs> life harder. 
Dory, you got lightning powers and use that shit like once. Get to spamming. Plug up that portal. Yeah, Natasha, all you got is Kung Fu and two starter pistols. Yes. Stay on the ground and help me box them up. And Hulk? Smash. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> so now that everybody got their assignments like they back in school, they start executing. Hulk jumps up, smashing this guy, and continues to give New York City residents new windows in their apartments that they did not ask for. Jumping over to the other building, one shot his bro right here, and grabbing another Shatari, mm. throwing him through the window. Hey. Hulk is then able to read the Shatari army's moves like a book, with mm. mostly pictures. Jumping up in the middle of the Shatari fleet, oh. slapping them off their course, yeah. and while Hulk is walling, Thor goes on top of the Chrysler building to do his job. Summoning lightning using Mjolnir, aiming it at the portal, and just starts eviscerating any Thing that's trying to come through <laughs> why didn't bro do this before is he not aware of the fact that he's <laughs> op we then switch over to the tag team duo of the world hawkeye and iron man hawkeye's on top of the building putting in work hitting them with the <laughs> Johnson, no look shot all that hey i saw that clint you still not catching more playing time though iron man then calls out to hawkeye for help because he's embarrassingly being chased by a swarm of shatari no wonder ultron was talking crazy all movie he saw the footage of y'all being turned into track stars by cpu enemies had no thinking y'all was food hawkeye lines up his shot not even actually looking and perfectly hits the aircraft making it spiral out of control crashing into the two buildings as iron man hits a step back blasting bro right here and then just dips out again but this right here lets me know that the shatari are just like us for real <laughs> look at him smacking the overpass on his way in nine in every ten door frames will be <laughs> smacked as i'm entering a room <laughs> iron man comes out the tunnel stopping on a dime causing them to crash into the building so realizing that these aircrafts have the turning of Shaquille O'Neal, he enters the <laughs> tunnel, causing for them to blow up trying to fit through the tight space. Damn. So after seeing every building literally getting boomed, naturally the residents are fucking terrified. Between the villains of Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, The Avengers, I swear to God, New York is worse than Gotham at this point. <laughs> Leave my city alone. How comes these aliens never randomly land and invade Idaho or something? They probably <laughs> so bored, they just go back. I know. Hulk decides he'll calm down all the citizens by running through like a maniac, jumping out onto the shit. Come think of it, New York is always the main city that always gets the most, most like, Terror, I would say most danger is crazy. Like, come think of it, yeah. It is worse than Gotham. <laughs> come think of it. Tari's mouth pulling it down. But because Bro's brain is just straight TV static, he pulls the Shatari ship back into the building and mm. nearly slices everyone in half. It's so funny to me. The Avengers will do some bullshit like this and Seriously? they wanted to look at Bro like he was tweaking when he asked them to sign the accords. <laughs> Black Widow weaves out the way, grabbing the Shatari, melting his peanut-sized brain and shooting <laughs> him with his own gun. <laughs> Shorty been fighting for like 13 hours straight. She got PTSD, almost committed friendly fire on her man. No ceiling fans for her. She'll dead start blasting it thinking it's a helicopter. <laughs> it took out like three of them. Yeah, I could tell based on the 113 of them that are left. <laughs> Captain America decides to just send her on a side mission to get the test right, <laughs> using his shield to give her that LeBron James vertical hitching a ride from the Shatari. <laughs> Natasha's holding off for their life, trying to not get clipped by fall damage. So with CGI produced on the Game Boy in the background, she <laughs> Game Boy. up cutting him loose and kicks bro off. And before the driver could put this bitch in autopilot to get back for his mans, Black Widow jumps off his back, using him as a steering wheel to get herself to Stark Tower where the <laughs> Tesseract is at. While she's posted up on his back in the Spider-Man sitting pose, more of the Shatari starts shooting at her, but Iron Man comes through blasting him and then bulldozes over two more, pulling up on Cap in his 1v50. As Cap crushes one, kicks another one away, and they do a tag team duo combo attack that. to eliminate the rest. We ended up seeing this frame again at another yep. point later on, but that was under completely different circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Hulk was getting his ass jumped because his parents got murdered and he was mad about it. Iron Man dips out shooting one and just throwing three more of the Shatari off the building as Hawkeye domes bro right here. Weave. Weave. <laughs> Hawkeye peeps three of the Shatari heading over to MSG to go teach Julius Randle a good jump shot for him. But Hawkeye Damn. being a Nets fan, he can't have all that. He's sniping them out the air, making them crash into their own ship. Mm. As the cameraman pans to another tag team duo occurring in Hulk and Thor, the two strongest and dumbest Avengers. <laughs> Absolutely no technique, no dodging, no game plan with their attacks. Just straight brute strength <laughs> to destroy shit. That is until Hulk rips off a piece of the Shatari ship, stabbing it <laughs> Thor to then use his lightning, causing Damn. for the entire thing to just short circuit and crash <laughs> right smack in the middle of Grand Central Terminal. 
Hmm. Even though they just worked together, Hulk is still pissed at Thor for embarrassing him in front of the rest of the squad in that counting competition, <laughs> going all the way to six. So you know he had to get his get back real fast. <laughs> After like five hours that. of straight terror, the army finally decides to show up, and it couldn't be in any more perfect timing because there's a giant hostage situation going on, and bro's got a bomb. Cap knows this isn't something you can leave for regular humans to solve, though. All of the poor victims in there will be turned into ground beef if he doesn't hmm. handle it himself. So he kills the Shatari and dips out to go save the hostages. They're on like the fifth floor, but somehow he just jumps through the window and beams bro who was holding the C4. He manages to duck out the way of their shots as the bomb is ticking so he knows he's on a time crunch. Kicking the table at them, knocking them off their feet as he runs over and starts piecing bro up to then just throw his ass off the balcony. The other one comes from behind and starts chucking Steve trying to rip his mask off. He's getting back for his man, so Steve beamed in the face earlier. That hit knocked the helmet off this man, and hmm. fuck, yo. It's clear he ain't got a cut in weeks. <laughs> but that shit backfired because my son Cap was not finna be caught lacking. His hmm. shit crisp. <laughs> but Dumb and Dumber over here just end up doing all the work for Captain America because bro starts blasting, and Steve just uses his own friend as a shield. At this point, the bomb is only a couple seconds away from detonating, and they both know that, so the Shatari picks it up and throws it as Steve hits his clean move to block it and get his ribs looking like Spongebob's fingers. <laughs> My only question is, how big was that explosion? Because did he really save them right there, or did they get done like the Saiyans? Hmm. Black Widow's still using bro right here as a steering wheel, and he's just letting her, not even trying to fight back. Bro thinks he's slick. We know you just <laughs> like having her on you, bitch or freak ass. ass. <laughs> Loki's on her ass though, trying to stop her from getting to the test track. Of course he's picking on somebody with his own power level. She then calls out to Hawkeye for help who's camping up top and he lines up the shot and Loki thought he was so badass hmm. catching that arrow. Oh, got his ass! Yeah, yeah. She yeah. boomed, landing on top of Stark Tower. <laughs> and as if that wasn't embarrassing enough, as <laughs> he's laid out on the ground, Hulk pulls up and decks him into Dang. the wall. Puny God. Head. This is what he gets for going after Hulk Stott. You never mess with a man's favorite eater. Hey, you beast. I would never be defeated. Well, actually, I yeah. kind of getting fucked up on the line. Yeah. <laughs> but at least I would never be disrespected. Well, actually, people kind of be talking to me all types of crazy. Hulk grabs yep. him and just starts ragdolling him, putting Loki-shaped holes in the ground. You could tell by the look on his face, Hulk think he the shit. Probably thinking to himself, Hulk destroy Loki <laughs> puny muscles with big. Walking away, leaving Loki there frozen. He's too stunned to even move. <laughs> Black Widow finally arrives to the Tesseract, and I don't know how both her ACLs aren't torn from that high-ass fall. Hmm. He rose about to throw them bag at her to get those kneecaps Jeez. so she starts asking bro right here how to turn off the machine and Me while bad. she's doing that we see thor taking care of more shatari goons as another ship just slices the entire building in half in an mm. attempt to eat thor <laughs> i really just can't get over the fact of how much damage is being done to the city right yeah, now. Seriously. the crazy part is these motherfuckers would have probably still sent us to school the next <laughs> day so Iron Man pulls up with some weak ass lasers, but at this point he's pretty aware of the fact that it's kind of impenetrable from the outside. So he uses his thigh missiles to fly through the mouth of the Shatari ship, blowing it up from the inside. I guess he didn't consider the harm it due to himself or didn't care because the explosion got him looking like a metro booming album <laughs> crashing into the bus station, the taxi, and then eating shrimp dirt. And they didn't even give bro a chance. The second he tried to stand up, they just blasted him right back down to Damn. the ground. While Tony's on his way to being stripped down and turned into a laptop, Hawkeye yes. uses his last arrow, so he just smacks Burrow across the face and Spartan kicks him off the building. Mm. But when he turns around, he sees that an entire Shatari fleet is coming right after him. Clearly, the Shatari leader didn't do his scouting beforehand. You don't need to send that many for Hawkeye, bro. <laughs> they start shooting at him, so with Nintendo 64 explosion graphics in the background, he jumps off the roof. And while in midair is able to turn around and shoot a grappling arrow at the building to swing inside and survive. So that's Iron Man, Captain America, and now Hawkeye, who's basically <laughs> out for the count. They are very low on fumes. But Hulk, he's still putting that work. Oh Some of these boys. I knew I could always count on him. Strongest in the Avengers for a reason. Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> what the fuck? This <laughs> guy emptying the magnum to bro, and I'm sitting here thinking, well, at least they're gonna have to reload at some point, but they just keep spraying and doesn't stop. Shield headquarters, we're getting shit on out there. Yeah, y'all are. What's the game plan, boss? <laughs> Who's still okay to fight? Thor and Black Widow seem to be fine, boss. <laughs> oh, I bet. Thor's straight. Okay, we might be good. And Black Widow, boss. 
nigga, stop telling me about shit that don't matter. So while Nikki <laughs> is trying to explain to kill him orders that Natasha is not a needle mover, the Shatari are telling Anna to fight back. Straight <laughs> cooking this man. Tony at this point has specialized the art of being jumped. He manages to blast three of them and dip out of there. And while he's in the middle of healing from that straight ass whooping he was catching, we see Thor and Captain America fighting for their lives, swinging straight haymakers as Cap gets shot right in his 18 pack. Uh. Steve's on the ground where he's straight food, can't defend himself, so they start blasting at him, but Thor has his back, using the car as a bowling ball to get a strike on all the horde of enemies. Thor then walks over to help Steve's old ass up. You straight? Yeah, I'm good. I eat those, nigga. <laughs> and out of everybody in the Avengers, it's Natasha, who with the help of this old dude, figures out how to close the portal and stop the Shatari army. But the World Council already decided that New York City was beyond saving at this point. First the accents, now the army of aliens. It was time for the whole place as a whole to just go. Jeez. Shooting off a nuke to delete it off the server. Tony, they hating and about a nuke us because we make the best drill music. Knock out, boom. Yeah, I'm seeing it right here. This is for Bob's home. Iron Man being the goat that he is, puts the missile on his Damn. back, redirecting it through the city yeah, and up out this through guy. the portal. To all the people who thought it was grits and started admitting shit to their loved ones, it just got mad awkward. Tony takes <laughs> it into space where it blows up all their ops and Iron Man passes out. The Avengers are just watching him barreling down a certain <laughs> dude and it's Hulk who jumps up and catches him, bringing him down to safety. He's on the ground and he's just unresponsive, so the Avengers are standing over him just thinking to themselves whether they're going to wear the Balenciaga or the Dior suit <laughs> at his funeral, which they were clearly able to decide on in Endgame. But Hulk <laughs> screams in his face and his breath was so bad it brought Tony back to life <laughs> and everything is okay, except for the millions of innocent people that died and everybody who's homeless now. <laughs> Damn. What way to end that? Oh, wow. Wow. Damn, 25 minutes. I damn. This has to be one of his longest recaps, but overall, man, W video, man. W video recap, Billy Boy. I love this, man. It's been so long I've seen the first Avengers. I remember first time seeing it in 2012, I believe. Man, I remember all the freaking seats were filled up. Everybody was hyped, cheering, man. It was like it was the one of the biggest events of um that year. And really, people say it was like the best superhero movie of all time until Avengers Endgame. And yeah, man, <laughs> seeing this, man, it's, it's, it hits me, man. It hits this nostalgic as hell. Wow, man. So, huh, yes, overall, I loved it. I freaking love this recap. Um, I know I'm yawning a little bit um, during the recast because I just got from work about like two hours ago and I am dead ass tired. But the train don't stop there because I have one more Blade Boy recap and it's the Batman recap. So I'll get straight to it after, you know after this so hot squad if you enjoyed my reaction a blade boys recap of the avengers please hit the like button comment y'all share your thoughts what's your favorite mcu movie how old was you when um the avengers came out i i think i was in high school no i was in high school i was becoming a freshman in high school back in 2012 because i didn't remember that i was um yeah 2012 yeah i was about to be in ninth grade in high school so last time i actually before i saw this I believe so. So yeah, it came around May or so. So yeah, yes, yes, yes. What a treat, man. What a hell of a, hell of a good time, y'all. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned. Because like I said, I have one more Blank Boy recap I want to do today. And I'm calling it quits for Hot Mega Reactions for now. And hopefully tomorrow or this weekend, I will continue more. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for my Blank Boy recap of the Batman in a few moments.